because you're lying. And what's worse, you're taking such a serious issue as racism and you're using it as a grift. Excuse me? Like what? Because this is to set off your members only live tonight at $10 a pop. You two are absolutely disgusting. Why are you any different for JY? Why? Pray tell me why you're any different. You're just cleverer about it. You just don't get drunk and put it all out there. I have nothing to hide. And make a fool of yourself quite as, quite as much. But this is race baiting at its best. It's almost hurtful to me to watch her be so dumb. You people need to take a good look at yourself. What she's telling us, I can hardly believe. So, Busy, nobody in this community can tell you you're a piece of shit or they're racist. <laughs> that is using the race card. For real? Like, do you know anybody who's giving out race cards? Because I could use one. You are now. I, I've never said that to anyone in my life, ever. Ever. But I can see quite clearly you are now using the race card. And it's disgusting and it's unfair and it's sick to all those people who have and will suffer from racism. I think when people say you're playing a race card, they're treating you as if you need an escape, when in fact it's them who need this escape from the conversation, from the issues, from being accountable to what's going on or even sensitive to what's happening. So it's easy to say, oh, you're playing the race card and basically suck it up. It's not that bad. Get over it. What you're doing is missing a great opportunity, not only to have an honest exchange with someone else, but a chance to expand yourself as a person, to see someone else's perspective. And in doing that, you grow, right? And then she said that I, had a, I was going after black subs when she was posted with um, Sh Shyla, who is white with blonde hair. But because of people like Busy Blue and Breezy Girl, who used to, who just throw it out there, oh, it's because I'm black, it's because I'm black. It diminishes other people that are really being racist because these people throw it out like there's no tomorrow. Hey, Brookie, how are you? Are you going live? Stop playing the race card. Race card is just a microaggression. It's one of those little racist comments that really adds up over time. When I hear someone tell me that I'm playing the race card or don't play the race card, I hear an individual who is trying to mask or cover up their potential bias attitudes and beliefs. Our research indicates that race-based and gender-based microaggressions are very harmful. When a white person experiences a rude clerk, it's over in no time. For people of color, they experience microaggressions from the moment of birth. It is a constant and continual experience that they have. Any one microaggression, when seen in isolation, can appear insignificant or trivial, but that individual has not seen that the person of color might have had that experience the third time during the day, and maybe seven times over the entire week. Because people experience themselves as well-meaning, to suddenly acknowledge the fact that they harbor biases assails their image of themselves as a good, moral, decent person. And the immediate reaction that comes from them is defensiveness. That you, Busy, are race baiting. To deny, to deflect, um, uh, to put down uh, what is confronting them. But the positive thing is that because they are good well-intentioned uh, individuals, if you are able to reach that aspect of their being, they can become powerful allies 
um, in the stand against bias and discrimination. But Busy, you come across as somebody that's just privileged. That's it. It's like you want a cause. That's the way you're acting. You want to complain about racism when there's no legitimate actual cause. Maria, what's Maria done to you? Show me proof that Maria's ever been racist to you. I define microaggressions as kind of passive, subtle, racist comments that people like to brush it off as it was just no big deal. And that's what the micro part is, but the aggression is still there. The racism is still there. So, like, yeah, there you go.